So it has been a full year. Can you believe it's been that long? No, I can't. I also just can't believe that a year exists anymore. It's crazy. I feel like we've all just tried to keep our head down, ostrich in the sand, and just, you know, ignore it. But we're still here. Anytime somebody says to me, like, oh, this event happened, like, two years ago, I'm like, no, it didn't. It was one year ago. And then I forget we lost a whole year. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just really weird because it's like, Time still kept going, but it seems like it just flew by. So today on React, we are going to take a look at the things and the moments that have defined our life in lockdown. Honestly, early quarantine was a vibe. Everybody was, you know, it was like slumber party for months. So let's go. The urgent message to stay home appears to finally be getting through. In California, the notoriously busy highways are nearly empty. These new CDC guidelines that were announced this week say advise no gatherings of more than 10 people for the next 15 days. But, but give it to us straight. Isn't this going to be longer than 15 days? Well, I think I knew it wasn't going to be just two weeks. Like, I was like, there's no way it's just going to be two weeks. But I did not think it was going to be as long as it has been at all. And I, I totally thought I was going to go back to my job, which I haven't worked at since uh, the 15th of last year of March. I definitely didn't think we would make it to the fall, and then we made it to the fall, and then we made it to the winter, and now spring. I literally remember the day that I told my friends that Disneyland would never close. And they, I think in the history of Disneyland, it closed like three times like for single days. And so I knew it was a big deal when Disneyland said they would close. Yeah, I was at Disneyland when the big announcement came out. Uh, when I was there two days before, it was the day they announced that they were shutting down. I mean, it was two days before they like, closed for good. And then uh, that same day I received an email from my university saying, oh yeah, we're staying at home for the next few weeks. I don't believe my mom about anything, but she was like, Sabrina, I saw on the news that this is like coming here and we might like have to go like in a lockdown. And I was like, mom, stop listening to the news. It's not actually gonna come here. It's just over, over somewhere else and it's not, we're gonna be fine. And then she was right, so. In March of 2020, Animal Crossing sold 5 million digital copies. This Animal Crossing clip shows a player who enforced some lockdown rules on their island. Starting today, everyone is in Nico Land TED talk is required and, uh, to Animal stay Crossing. at home. That's right. We are doing a week I love this. This is so cute. Honestly, is that's me. In that is literally me. So I start off by locking up everyone I knew. Oh my god, you locked up Rosie all their people in Animal right Crossing. Marina's house and I locked her in. Felt really bad. It's not even her house, but maybe her and Marina could become good friends over this quarantine cycle. I know I've gained a lot of friends. This I am so cute. Look at me in my today. little um Listen uh, up, nurse's buddy. outfit, You're doctor's not outfit. To leave this what is he doing for seven eagle? days before we're clear? You don't have to <gasps> oh, I get it. I know we've I get it. Oh, it all came no, to me. Back to your house. You can't go to the beach. Go back inside. What are you doing? Immune, go back. Doctor's orders. I felt like a little bit of FOMO watching people play it. But I always felt like I was just too late on the trend, so I just kept delaying it. But I do know it was huge. And so did you pick up any hobbies? Like, did you make any goals for yourself? Um, I picked up weight, if that counts. I was determined to complete my study in Spanish. And I was like, you know what? I'm downloading Duolingo and I'm learning Spanish. And that lasted like three weeks. Once the first month went by and I realized gyms weren't opening again, I like tried to scramble together like at home gym equipment and uh, taught myself how to cook a lot. Uh, I did make banana bread at some point, so maybe I didn't totally miss out on it. I'm thoroughly upset that I never tried to do sourdough. Um, maybe we can restart quarantine and I can try it again, please. I was like, oh, this is great. I have absolutely nothing to do. I'll just watch all my comfort movies. Now I'm like, let's hit Legally Blonde for the 50th time. We're gonna take a look at the time we couldn't buy toilet paper. Oh my God, oh my God, I forgot this was an issue. Americans are scrambling for essentials, stripping some store shelves bare of items like toilet paper and cleaning supplies. How much? All right, I'll take one. 
dealers selling. I saw this one. This one was so good. This was uh, accurate, though. Thank you. Exacto knifed it. Oh my god. It's horrible, but I kind of almost understand because I can remember that, what was it, like a month? where there was none anywhere. There were a lot of times when I went to the store, even way after the whole initial thing, where I went to the store and it was like completely like cleaned out. I'm like, are we doing this again? Also like, are you missing some membranes, baby? Like you really are fighting over toilet paper? Like over, like fighting with an old woman? We were all so scared. We had no idea what was happening. I remember I resorted to buying uh, bamboo toilet paper. Just don't recommend it. Wiping your butt with those like restaurant hand towels, those brown ones, that's kind of what it felt like. It, I, you know, not, not great. To me, it's a little sad because we already are very lucky to live in the country that we live where in some capacity or another, we will have access to these things. We still have running water. We still have towels. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're fighting over disposable tissue paper. About 3 million adults moved in with a parent or grandparent between March and May of 2020. Most of them were 25 years or younger. Because of school closures, students were forced to spend a lot of time with their families. This mother created a strategic way to get some help around the house. You guys heard that school's going to be canceled for two weeks. So daily, these are the things you have to do. Like make your bed is one. I think I've seen this one. Well, that's where it gets tricky. It is a point. <laughs> and guess what the point's yeah, going to be for? 15 points oh, a day. Point so this is what you have to do. And then if you want to do more, you can do this. Example, Lindsay, oh, choose two oh, she's jobs a smart lady, that you're going to do. So you would get, come over oh, here. Mom. You would get one. Stop. Two, Stop. Stop. What is this? Three, what is she doing to her family? Four. This is a good idea. I should have done that. Wow. <laughs> I should have done that. I hope that that was a joke. But if it wasn't, I I feel like she just stuck her kids in the Hunger Games. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. You didn't make your bed. You're going to have to hold it in today. Like, what? <laughs> Why are you giving your daughter little pieces of paper? You should be giving your daughter the full roll. They have something that comes monthly that they can't control. Give your son two pieces of paper because I'm sure he'll figure out how to wash his butthole. After about uh, four months, five months, I moved in with my folks again. I've been with them longer at this point for quarantine than I was on my own. <laughs> it's been a fun adjustment. So I quarantined with my family for the first half and now we're in the second half where I am completely alone. And in the first half, I was like, God, I need to get out of here. And now I'm like, God, I need to get back there. There is no in between. I definitely uh, quarantined with my family, which is good. It kind of, it was, it was good and bad. It was good because I definitely got to see my family a lot. Um, and it was bad because I definitely got to see my family a lot. Up next, when the world was told to mask up, people found some very creative ways to cover their face. Oh, I love it. This is cool. Unique. <laughs> sir, sir, it's not funny. I, I've seen a lot of people doing the thing where they think they can get away with uh, putting their shirt over or like under their chin. It's like, I just want to show you I have a mask. I'm not wearing it properly, but I have one. Having your nose out of your mask is like having your d out of your underwear, but just your d I've seen people wear the gas masks too, like uh, <laughs> to like the grocery store. And I'm like, that seems excessive. You know, a really common one that I hated and it wasn't so much that it was the issue with the mask, but the ones in the beginning that, I don't know why people thought these were better masks, but the ones that had like a little, they had like a little circle um, open opening on the side and you could actually like twist it open. And I legitimately saw people stick their cigarettes in that hole. Zoom usage skyrocketed last year and it, all, it felt like we were living our lives over Zoom. People were doing work over Zoom, and uh, that led to a lot of Zoom fails, <laughs> like this next one from a Texas mm -hmm. courthouse proceeding. 
Mr. Oh, I remember I this one. This is not, not too long ago. Turned on in the video settings. My favorite part's when he's like, I can still proceed. I want to. Uh, They're not, they don't like it. Jerry yeah, hates it. Who's that guy? Gibbs? Bibbs? I can he doesn't hear like you. it. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is. And Why I does it kind of fit, though? Remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to. Like, this sounds like the cat. Uh, I'm prepared to go forward. How are it. they not laughing? I, I don't I'm understand. Live. I'm, not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> I think his assistant set him up. I've seen that clip, and I'm like, it's hilarious. I loved that one, because he goes, I'm here, I'm not a cat. <laughs> He's so sweet. The thing is, is I started, doing, I started doing my therapy on the Zoom, and it's so much easier. I don't want to leave my house anymore. I assume like maybe we use Skype or, uh, or something else, or maybe like Google Hangout or whatever, but I did not expect Zoom to blow up as much as it has. So how, like a year into you doing out Zooms, a how do you feel about it now? I think you're still frozen. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm pretty sure you're still frozen. I don't know if you can hey, hear hold me. Hold on real quick. You're frozen. But it is for sure frozen. Unless you're doing a really good job of just staying still. I'll turn your camera on. Seriously, is it my is it my fault do I, that you have your cameras off? So, oh, is this the one where Dr. They Brown, we signs? actually kind of wanted to do yeah. something. Yeah, oh, I love these moments. Um, He's your, like, guys, where off? are you guys? Everybody, oh, I'm gonna cry. Go ahead. Oh, oh you guys, oh, you're gonna make me cry. I'm reading each oh, one. You are my sunshine. My That's only like sunshine. Stop. You mm -hmm. make me happy. I didn't want to cry today. You never know. Dear, Is this the how dumb much cry? I love you. <laughs> so please don't Episode? Oh. Away. Hold on, let me get tissue really quick. <laughs> oh, the like old people make me cry, man. <laughs> A lot of people had life experiences taken away from them in the year. A lot of people had their lives taken away from them over the last year. COVID has been absolutely awful. Corona has been disgusting and it's been hard on everybody, but I definitely am thankful for the amount that it's really brought us together and sort of brought us back to a sense of humanity and love and compassion for one another. I'm so glad that like all of my family and my friends stayed healthy. And um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we had a little bit of time, just everyone to reflect. I mean, hopefully we'll look back on it and be like, yeah, we went through that and we came out of it the other end swinging. But this was very much like an opportunity for us to come together and we didn't. Uh, and I think that's where I think we're gonna like feel really stupid. Hopefully, prayerfully in 10 years, this will be a thing of the past that we'll never have to deal with again. I feel like it's brought us closer together. Yeah. Honestly, the thing I've, I've, I've learned the most this year um, is just to be thankful and to be available to people that need the help. Thank you for watching this episode of React. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for new episodes every single week. What do you remember most about the early days of quarantine? Make sure and comment below. See you guys. Hey guys, it's Sierra, React producer. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here, but also subscribe to our other channel, Replay. Links are down below. Bye guys.